hello. If you're unaware of the away from keyboard spot we're using for a Canyon Valley Rebuild, it's right over home base, which is a lovely view, about nine tiles off the ground, as I'm passing it to. One tile I forgot, as I'm looking at right now, uh, is one slinger wall there, if you did not add it. Uh, okay, the amplifier we're doing today is a funny, well, a funny, funny, funny one. I mean a fun amp. I mean by a fun amp, it was the last amp I was building. So I had uh, a little extra structures and I uh, used every single bit of them. And uh, this will uh, prevent most of everything but the smashers, which are sometimes annoying. The slinger wall's even with our hill, which is even about right here and all the way down uh, to our walls down there. This is the, just the perfect spot for a singer wall. If it's fully maxed, they won't throw at it. Unless the propane damages it, which is a possibility. Some of the block off you're going to need is just put a couple walls here. You don't have to cone this part. Uh, but you do, you do do, just have to cone up these next two parts. Speaking of two parts, uh, Go ahead and uh, hit that like button and subscribe if this uh, is at all helpful and uh, it would, I'd appreciate it and uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, the block off is just uh, just this 2x2. Two two. It makes the enemies fall into our uh, just a pit. Uh, they fall down that way. We're going to connect a uh, spawn killing uh, uh, trap uh, damage darts and these are just the standard darts if you have trouble which you will have trouble add a extra wall temporarily so you can just add a uh, extra wall down there the uh, uh, the, the why why I put that there is because it's just attached to our uh, other slinger wall or uh, other damage wall at the bottom of the pit which is uh, pretty simple and our uh, spawn killing here, which is uh, from their main spawn, they always come toward this tunnel. We're just going to cover it with one, two, three, four, yeah, five, six, a uh, six by three, uh, or four or five. They actually spawn way out here. So if you have extra tiles, you can you can actually just go crazy with it. Crazy. With the what I use is the uh, ceiling electrics, uh, and the, the because they spawn so far away, I I didn't uh, really focus too much on spawn killing them here. I more uh, killed them at the amp because of the smashers. And the, they'll, they'll, we want the enemies to fall down here, land on this wooden floor spike get pushed three tiles with a wooden uh, wall, 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 whatever, yeah, like that. And this is just a, a, an area of a three by two that we can trap out once they fall into it. And we're going to add a, a, a floor wall launcher here and uh, it'll push them here, they'll stumble stumble flippy floppy right here for a couple seconds it's it's a lovely trap area actually and the, if you get a chance uh, go ahead and watch the enemies in this area uh, it's it's pretty funny uh, it it's it, it messes with their cc a lot on this one and it usually uh, if if a husky husk and it's usually only a husky husk that makes it through there uh, yeah so yeah now moving on after that we're going to add some wall darts, which will shoot three tiles, roughly, uh, normally, I believe. <laughs> Along with, speaking of three impact, uh, this thing is going to push them three. This one's going to push them three. Don't forget to upgrade everything. Uh, like, I uh, completely upgrade everything, as you see. And, uh, but it works fine sometimes if, if it's not and, uh, on this little drop off we're just going to add a little tickle uh, wall dart with the standard 
uh, detour. They actually uh, fall from the top. This is where our box, uh, where our spawn tunnel up, up, up above, uh, they fall to the point right there. Mostly. Half the spawns. This is just a terrible spawn point. If you're not aware. And, uh, and uh, go ahead and uh, put uh, two tiles off the ground just in case of propane. Just a couple of ceiling electrics. And uh, once we get over here, we can add uh, the wall, the uh, sound walls for the sound. And, uh, and this tunnel, right, the block off right here, uh, this is uh, the hill right up to our pretty. Our, our pretty little recycler right there. And this works great until, uh, but there's just one way, of, I swear it's like a, uh, yeah, a zillion smashers. It's a fun way though. It, it, this, the, the amp works, the, the three impact, and this is our spawn point. They uh, usually focus right down this tunnel because of our block off. The block off I'll show you near the end of the video, and uh, on both amps, uh, this is both spawns I'm showing you, and uh, they'll run this way. You have uh, plenty of room to add extra traps. Uh, prefer one good place right here is that definitely we're going to add a wall dart. Uh, that'll definitely do some damage to those uh, pesky huskies. And. Uh, potential this has the potential to add extra traps but I found it uh, I, I might have got a little carried away if you agree with me go ahead and uh, say so in the comment section down below and you might win a million dollars one day yep moving on the block off uh, for the north spawn is right here even with the wall about the uh, three tiles off the ground even with the wall right there like this uh, and uh, it's two it's pretty much just two tiles thick and they, sometimes you you don't need it too thick and uh, an extra wall dart just in case something gets uh, all weird yeah and uh, this is a uh, extra uh, Zappy zaps. These wooden, yeah. Well, you see what it is. It's this, uh, the area they run up this ramp is basically we're going to use wall darts and a three, three impact or four, whatever you prefer, kind of wall launcher just to slap them around like it's your, uh, redheaded stepchild or something. And, uh, just ignore that. That was a bad joke. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this this will uh, take up most of their CC counter. By this point, this is a, the kill point. They need to be uh, uh, zappified by this side. Both spawn points will focus all into this point until about wave 23 or 21. And, uh, until the smasher spawn, but I have a perfect uh, smash away uh, deterrent for smashers at the end of the video that you uh, really need to see. Uh, and uh, some of the smashers and uh, will get zapped by the wall dynamo or, or the darts, like this. And uh, this is, uh, yeah, this was the yeah, like. Uh, like I can't tell you how fun this amp was building. It, this was like also the last amp. If you if you're following along in my tutorial, this is our last amp, and uh, I'll show you a, a couple other tricks uh, that'll uh, that's uh, helpful for candy later on. Uh, and, and, yeah. So now let's cover the east spawn real quick. We're gonna have the wall darts uh, even with our smasher. Or, yeah right here okay sorry if I messed up the timing on telling you to start placing traps where this is a just a standard uh, wall darts completely everywhere 50-50 uh, uh, 
Uh, yeah, 50-50. This is a pretty easy spawn. Uh, one of the important things that I must uh, tell you to do is two tiles inside of this tunnel right above here. You want to uh, just uh, put this tile like this. Believe it or not, this uh, is uh, an excellent uh, deterrent whenever if a smasher comes through there because they'll uh, sometimes they'll just walk right over here it's 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 really amazing and uh you should see it yourself and uh moving on uh this uh, uh yeah the sound walls that i use uh, i alternate i use this and uh, somewhat different like because of the, yeah like that this is uh, the wall dynamos dynamos yeah and one of the one of the smasher deterrents, which I told you about earlier, is also these wall darts all around the amplifier, roughly about three blocks away from your amplifier. Just uh, just cover this place with, uh, yeah, like that. And this, this works out great, especially if you're not away from keyboard and you're just over here having fun. Because uh, we, we just want to have fun. Uh, yeah, this is a, uh, this is the Smasher Tunnel. This is the zapper I use for the Smasher Tunnel. Zap, zap, there's two, uh, two, two, three. There's three of them. The reason why there's three, uh, I'm telling you, there's a, uh, there's about five or six Smashers at the same time that run through this. It's a, uh, it's a sight. And you need to, two uh, wall dynamos with a, uh, about that this is just a smasher uh, the turret it's it works pretty good this uh, once it this is like a a smash away smasher tunnel it, it, uh, you should see it, see it in action once you once you get it done and just cover your walls with uh, yeah standard wall darts like that and uh, to, yeah, we're gonna use the ceilings, uh, electrics all along there for phones. T you know, two tiles off the ground. Don't forget to block off your tunnel, uh, your cave, and uh, I'll show you the exact tiles I use in a second. And if you're unaware, you can use uh, eight defenders if you're solo, four defenders if you're uh, with but your buddies or random. It's always fun playing with randoms. <laughs> and this is the block off for the cave. You really only need a uh, these from the tile I'm standing on here uh, to the north is all the block off, uh, the main block off that you need for this cave. I added extra, you know, just for the fun of it, because. Uh, we like to have fun, don't we? And, uh, yeah. And these cones, uh, need to be facing two here, just uh, like that, and just box them in. And then, yeah. And, uh, they will, uh, the final, one of the final block offs that you'll need is over here at the west. If you haven't already blocked it off previously, uh, this is uh, we don't want them running up the uh, that this tunnel because there's not enough room really to kill them. We could recycle them pretty good with the drop traps back in the day, but you know how updates are. The wall darts uh, are going to be even with the cave, like that, with, with all of the block off with the standard cones, like that, and uh, yeah. And uh, here's a look at the at the top of it, which is a uh, beautiful view as always. And the uh, believe it or not, that's the last amp for our walkthrough on Canyon Valley. If this was helpful, uh, please consider subscribing. It would uh, mean a lot to uh, uh, me and uh, HC, my buddy. 
<laughs> He's probably gonna be like, quit saying it. <laughs> but uh, if you're unaware, I have uh, one final note for them <laughs> uh, that, that's important. Uh, hopefully, y'all didn't click away already, which would be bad. You clearly need to watch all the videos if you're watching something. <laughs> the block off you need. Uh, it, over here, you have to make sure it's one tile away from the wall. That's because all the enemies fall right down here to our point. And that's that's the only tile I was standing on that's fine. And, uh, yeah. I really hope this was helpful. Uh, I can't say that enough. And, uh, I appreciate every, every one of y'all. And, uh, have a wonderful day. Hope to see y'all again. See ya.